these images might look real but they're all completely AI generated using Google's very own AI image generator. I'll walk you through exactly how to create images like this step by step and stick around. I'll also be comparing the results with one another AI image generator called Flux. First search for image effects on Google and click the first link that appears. Here's what the interface kinda looks like. So there's a main prompt box, then there's aspect ratio, we can choose different sizes. You got the model part by default it uses Google's image in three. So for the first prompt, I'll keep it simple. A group of diverse friends is what I'm going with. So image effects generates multiple images for each prompt and you can create as many as you want. So here's the result. This is the level of realism we are talking about. The image has a raw real feel to it. There's no weird glitches or hallucinations. It understood the prompt quite well and nailed the details. So I can really feel the sunny vibe uh, in this, the sunny beach vibe. And there's a sense of realism in the way the subjects are all laughing. I mean, although if you look closely, they all have a similar smile. So for the next prompt, I'll go with a group of elderly women sitting around in a park. And here's what we got. Honestly speaking, this beats every other AI image generator. The quality is as good as it gets. Once again, the autumn vibe really comes through. So it did adhere to the prompt with the trees in the background and even the birds flying in the sky. It does set a tone for it. So when comparing the picture with Flux Chanel, I feel Google's tool does a much better job and it's free. So in the Flux version, there's a noticeable duplication. So I feel the guys in the picture, they look quite similar. They look almost identical to each other, which I feel takes away from the realism of the image. So I feel Google uh, takes the lead in this one. So for the next prompt, I'll go with a young man in a cozy sweater so there's also some built-in filters which you can choose um, so like cinematic shots if you want then there's a natural lighting for this one i'll go with a natural lighting because that's what i want the picture to feel like and there it is so quite sharp image of a guy sitting by the woody fire the lighting is on point making the scene feel quite natural the details from the calm, woody atmosphere to the book as the focal point uh, really stand out. Comparing it with Flux, their version gives a more zoomed in shot, but it has a slightly animated feel to it. So once again, I feel Google's AI delivers a more realistic result. So next up would be a woman in snow. And this one, I feel insanely realistic. The smile looks natural, the texture of the snow is perfect and even in another variation it maintains the snowy vibe with clear coherent details. On the right hand side we have image effects generated close up of a tattooed man while on the left is the flux version. So the problem is something like man tattooed with a close up face. So Google's AI yeah, gives a raw and filtered feel making it seem more natural. Flux on the other hand has a polished more professional look to it. Honestly I prefer the Flux version in this case. It feels solid and well composed but Google's one is good too it's not bad to be honest with you. So for the final prompt I'll go with a young man hiking alone on a mountain trail and again the details are all there. The scenery the man at the top of the trail and even the foggy weather sticks to the prompt quite well. Um, so the most impressive part of Google's AI, the quality it delivers for free. It competes with the top AI image generators that are out there, like Flux and Midjourney, all while being completely free. So AI is evolving fast. It's exciting to see where it goes from here. Let me know what you think.